flashes it for a second, but it's going to be the rumble oh. into the gangplank. So I think it's our second rumble of the season, not being a favorite. Might be our first as well. Burns not available on Tal. Cannon Barrage 50, available. 50 classic stuff here. It's gonna, still going to be taken by Beyond way too early from Blank to try to get the steal away. Beyond goes forward with the flag and drag. Has He's the flag. not getting a bit scared. If you're an SKT fan. I mean, 8.2 would be the perfect patch to do so. What with back here in a second. My turn. We'll be able to scoop up the minions. This is the, end. Well, this is the classic MVP. We know that they love going for these. TP's going to be coming in on the back. Goes low, and that's going to be beyond yet again, smiting away. The Cassidy. The engage is really just Szechuani throwing out at all. If it misses, no engage. The Gangplank ultimate is definitely not primary engage, although Gangplank himself is getting powerful. He uh, might solo yeah, kill AD here. going to go low. Stopwatch gets popped here. ADD flashes away, Tall chasing in, one more hit would do it, he goes golden as ADD desperately tries to run away and he's active. Ultimate use on ADD, they want to turret dive him here, over time they certainly can kill him. Yeah, no stopwatch this time around, so Faker going to be jumping in, Equalizer comes down, ADD gets chunked out and Faker will be finding that first blood, Tall goes low, as does Faker, but not going to be able to get the kills, or they're in the brush, MVP going to be spotted out, but will be able to knock down this final outer turret in all likelihood. They know they can walk up to it. Kassadin still recalling, so no teleport play. Now the teleport down behind them. This is SKT's moment. Well, seems like they're just going to go ahead and peel off this one. Maybe get the fast track into the mid lane. Huge backline threat. Can quit barrel either the Sivir or the Azir. Faker's going aggressive here. Blank maybe looking for a second opportunity with his ultimate. As they toss it out. Yeah, flash over the wall there by Max with a devour onto ADD. Takes them both out to safety. Uh -huh. Just trying to make sure that they're safe over there. And Faker, he's going to go in. He's going to pop Ian. He is just eliminated out of the fight. Emperor's of I doing absolutely nothing. Faker barely takes any damage. Now SKT are going to push the advantage as they move in onto this tier this tier one turret here in mid. Ian was on a war and it's got popped by the Glacial Prison. That one hits from blank. Big advantage now as the world of the wave clear is gone. Sifra can't walk up. They're teleporting onto a ward. They want two tucks. Yeah, Faker trying to show Tal how to use a turret to keep something alive. Keeps the minion in the fight as they push down. They get the second turret. Lost the spawn of the Elder Dragon earlier, which when MVP. SKT, so they can safely start up the Baron. Now, gonna get pinched on here, ADD. Waiting for the ultimate to be tossed out. Maha goes low, devours there from Max to keep him alive. Has the public great health. Ma Maha jumps over the wall to keep himself in the fight, but has to just go ahead and run out of there as Max gets taken down. Now ADD being chased on. Faker goes in, finds the kill with the melee hit. And even Usually a 50-50 burst, and if he had vision, he certainly would go for a dozen. Ends up being a free Baron to the side of SK Telecom. Could work for the 90 minute game. Best friends for him. Yeah, I mean, this could just be the... Uh, Looking for an aggressive play on Tal. Yeah, gonna be looking to take him down. ADD What's gonna here. happen on the map as this happens, though? Big flame Spitter, Cannon, Barrage comes down. Devour there to keep him alive. So ADD will survive, and Maha picks up the kill, but that's gonna be the inhibitor exposed and likely taken here in the top side of the map. And that's why I was talking about the minimap as we are watching Gangplank die. This is against Baron Buff. It seemed like a bizarre decision. Gonna get caught here. Yeah, Faker rubbing his way in. Does a ton of damage. Equalizer gonna get thrown down, but Faker can just sidestep that very easily. ADD trying to close the cap. Oh, Desperate on the Maha. He goes low. Does not have the flash available. As Faker chases forward, tries to finish him up, but can't quite get it. In the meantime, Ian, he goes forward, and he'll just get taken down as Faker claims the kill. Both Ian and Maha caught at the same time. But it's methodical. SKT making sure that they don't make any mistakes that MVP can very easily capitalize on. It's not the fastest, it's not the cleanest, but even an Arctic Assault forward, we're gonna see a Rift walk forward instead. Yep. Faker goes in, the turret goes down. The Bower comes out trying to keep Ian alive and in the fight, but a huge chunk goes through onto Maha and Max as they get sent packing back over towards the fountain. Now beyond getting engaged on Faker goes forward, will finish him off. And it's chasing forward even further with Bang at his side. Inhibitor dead, all three gone. Does SKT want no ability for MVP to contest? There's no smite to steal it anyway. Second bar in the game, cleanly taken by SKT. <laughs> Tall right Damage there. there onto Max, but the crits from Maha do come through and they work him down to about half HP. But you can see he is not dissuaded. He, in fact, is going to go forward, goes golden right as the Emperor's Divide comes through. And it's going to be beyond going down first and foremost. Now Maha getting crit, gets sent back to the fountain, barely dodges out on the artillery from the Kogma. Will heal up. But SKT with Baron Empowered Super Creeps are in onto the Nexus turrets, and they are not lasting very long. And for them to close the game, not perfect by SKT, but certainly better. Taking all the inhibitors again. Four members of MVP at decent life totals, but even a single Q chunking out of you. Back to the fountain. It's just a fireman's drill back and forth as they try to get here to defend, but now. Nexus exposed, SKT. It's been here, they, they've been here back. before, Achilles. Remember that game. 
against Jinnah. They're showing a lot of respect to MVP. Oh, Blank is going to get chunked out. He's going to go low, but he manages to stay alive. The Soraka heal coming through the wish, keeping him in the fight. Finger goes in, tries to finish off the Nexus, but cannot quite get it. And I am getting Namaz flashbacks right now. Papa Smithy is SKT, start hightailing it out of this base. Pretty chunked out top as well, so just the mid lane, the concern here for MVP as they desperately try to hold on. Cannon Barrage comes down. Cataclysm in onto Baker. He gets chunked out, but as so does Beyond. The Nexus has been engaged on ADD. Wipe off the face of the earth, as is Maha. Everybody pretty much on the side of MVP. Gonna get taken out other than Beyond, but the Nexus will go down with them. No 95 minute long game here. No breaking of the record, but SKT with Wolf back in at the support role. Tie up the series. We're going to game three. The job is not done. SKT are not redeemed, but a step towards redemption.